The original Sun Goku, Masako Nazawa. She is a legend in Japan and a legend of voice acting in general. What makes her so good? Well, in today's video, I discuss why Masako Nazawa is the best Goku, at least in my opinion. Everyone has their preference. Uh, usually, it's uh, the voice that, um, you know, you sort of... Uh, uh, get first introduced to, that's sort of your favorite, or at least uh, for the time being, like your mainstay. Um, for me, it was Sean Shemmel, he was my first Goku, but as I uh, grew up with the series, my preference began to change to Masako Nozawa, and I think why she carries um, the role of Goku so well is that because she has a hand in many of the different characters in the show, including Gohan, Goten, and she has a grasp, a huge, uh, strong grasp of the Sun family and how they are supposed to sound. So yeah, uh, Goku and her voice of Goku was directly handpicked by Toriyama. Now she did have to go through, this is a bit of history here, uh, she did have to go through an audition in order to get the part of Goku, but Toriyama did handpick her from about five or six Gokus, and Toriyama was like, yeah, that is Goku, that is how Goku is supposed to sound. That's what he said in an interview, um, but yeah, so Toriyama picked Masaka Nozawa, and even when he's writing um, the chapters, when he was writing the chapters when uh, Dragon Ball the manga was in serialization, he could picture Masako Nozawa as Goku in his head as he's writing the dialogue. So that's how much staying power Masako Nozawa has and how much of a talented actress she really is. And another thing I'd like to note is how she sort of changes the voice um, you know, throughout each character, uh, from Goten to Gohan to Goku. Um, so, so pretty much, uh, with Goten, for example, uh, she talks very much like Kid Goku, and she very much talks like just a young kid. Gohan is more of, um, a scholar and more of an intellectual than Goku, uh, at least compared to Goku. Um, so he... Uh, Masako Nozawa takes that, and uh, pretty much she applies a soft-spoken voice with a uh, smarter dialect than Goku. Now, Goku is a hick, he's a country boy, and Masako Nozawa knows this, and she pretty much adds a hick dialect um, to Goku. For example, um, us or a Goku, us um, is sort of the uh, hick way of saying hello or yo, in Japanese. Now, I'm not an expert on Japanese, I'm no Holmes, but this is what um, us means. It's pretty much an outdated way of saying hello. Um, so she applies that into the character, and I think that's really cool. And she just has the perfect blend of comedic elements with serious tone, because she has that really high-pitched voice uh, in comedic scenes, but then it can be all serious, and when the music starts creeping in, and she gets that deeper tone, it's so good. Uh, especially with the accompanying uh, Kikuchi soundtrack, the original Kikuchi soundtrack, and then subsequent Yamamoto and then Sumitomo tracks, uh, it can, uh, scenes can work really well because of her. Um, fun fact, actually, the only uh, the only voice that Toriyama handpicked uh, was the voice of uh, Kuririn or Krillin in the English dub and Yajirobe as they share the same voice actor, uh, or should I say voice actress. So yeah, that was the only one Toriyama was like, he requested it by name, but Masako Nozawa, she uh, was picked by Toriyama in an audition. Many people say that she was just handpicked just right off the bat. No, she had to go through an audition process. But most of the voice actors later on in uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, most of them anyway, um, are veteran voice actors, so there wasn't much room to audition. Anyway, 
To conclude, Masaka Nozawa, she is a legend in voice acting, and she has really paved the way for, um, you know, other voice actors that, um, you know, voice uh, main characters in Shonen. She really is influential, and even if you dislike her, um, try, try it again. Try watching Dragon Ball in Japanese, because she really does a good job. And she's, um, ex you know, she's pretty old, and she's still giving it her good go. And also, um, on top of, um, you know, voicing uh, many different characters, uh, Goku, Goten, Gohan, Goku Black, uh, you know, uh, Tullus, or Turlus, whatever you want to call him, Bardock, Goku Jr., etc. Um, and, you know... Apart from voicing those characters, she voices them at the same time if they share a screen, uh, if they share a scene. So Goku, um, let's say Goku and Goten share a scene together. She does those voices at the exact same time. She switches her voices out from Goku, uh, from Goku to Goten, um, on the fly. Most American voice actors, they um, have to take time out and record a character separately. No, Masaka Nozawa doesn't do that. She just goes and switches between characters. Now that is really impressive in my opinion, and that is another reason why she is the best Goku. She gets the comedic scenes down pat, and she really knows the character inside out. She has uh, appeared in every Dragon Ball credit, like, every single one. Um, now there's over like 700 episodes of uh, the Dragon Ball franchise. She's been in every single one, every single credit. Now that's a lot of credits and 30 years, you know, she's had a wonderful career. She's one of the best voice actresses around. She's still going too with Dragon Ball Super and she still sounds amazing, even to this day. Uh, her screams are good. Um, I do prefer Shemuel's screams because they're just more, I guess, um, aggressive. But Masaka Nozawa, she, um, she knows the character of Goku inside out. Like, she is Goku in a sense. And I mean this, like, she is Goku in a sense. And you can't take that away from her. She is Goku. Some essence of Goku is within her now. Um, another example of Masaka Nozawa really being impressive, a really impressive uh, voice actress, is when uh, the anime was in its later years. Um, you know, more into the Z era and the Super Saiyan era of the anime, of the Dragon Ball Z anime. Uh, the art and animation would um, sometimes even just be in the line art stage, you know, when it's just all lines and no, nothing really filled in. Uh, Masaka Nozawa and the other voice actors, they needed to still record their lines when it was just line art because the schedule was just that tough, and also doing two movies a year. Um, as well as like the TV specials, I'm looking at the Chosen Su 4 interview by Masaka Nozawa. It's extremely impressive how well they captured their characters, even though um, they were just going off of line art and were trying to figure out their facial expressions and how to emote and stuff like that. And I think that's a true testament to how these uh, Japanese vo uh, voice actors know their characters. Um, especially Masaka Nozawa, how she knows Goku inside and out. I think it's extremely impressive. But anyway, uh, Masaka Nozawa, man, she literally is amazing. And, and she's such a, a nice person, too. Uh, she gets um, messages and she sort of, um, y you know, uh, sends messages over to, like, kids in Japan. Like, she's just a very... Uh, sweet and innocent lady like she's a very nice old lady um, and she's very pure very pure like Goku um, which I think yeah uh, like this is speculation on my part but it could be partly why Toriyama picked her for the role is because he saw how pure uh, she really is and how that pureness is um, 
sort of bouncing off of Goku and sort of reflecting on Goku and the voice, and it, it's just incredible. She really does a good job, along with all of the Japanese cast. All of them done a, uh, all of them did a terif- uh, terrific job in Dragon Ball Z, and are still doing a terrific job in Dragon Ball Super. And I cannot wait until Masaka Nozawa delivers uh, those lines in Dragon Ball Super episode 102. Oh my god, I dated this video. It's okay. Um, but I cannot wait for her next performance as Son Goku, our favorite hero of anime and Dragon Ball. See you guys next time. Hopefully, you rate, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, Frozen Particle does everything Dragon Ball, from Dragon Ball uh, V Manga to Dragon Ball Super, and everything in between. We do in-depth analysis, we do reviews, we do news videos if you're into that kind of thing. We do theories. Everything is um, on in Frozen Particle's YouTube channel. So please check it out, Uh, please subscribe if you are new, catch you next time.